Hi, fans of high quality entertainment. It's time. It's been probably about half a year since I've done a worst album covers video. I've done, I think, six of them. So this is the seventh in the series. And uh, so I've picked out 50 more pretty bad album covers. A lot of them are, uh, this time they're, you know, heavy metal album covers. They're usually <laughs> known to be pretty bad, some of them. Uh, but there's other ones mixed in. And there's even a couple of audio. Uh, I'll be able to play a couple of little snippets of music from two or three of these albums. You're welcome. Here we go. <laughs> I don't need, need to even say anything. I mean, these are funny, like... Well, just laugh along with me. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't even say anything. So this is Marauder. Marauder. Sense of Metal. Sense of Stupidity. And then I love when... when uh, some of the logos for these bands are so bad you can't even read them. Uh, this one is, I don't know if it's German or whatever, but we're, we're matched. Shark attack. <laughs> Those are very scary looking uh, sharks. And it almost looks like Eddie from uh, Iron Maiden. Death Hog, I think that's what it says. Release from Agony. Well, if you listen to this album, you won't get any release from Agony. <laughs> What's that logo say? Uh, Ab Abril, I think. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can read the uh, band name, Druid and Vampire Cult. <laughs> uh, uh. Pretty scary. Kratos or Kratos, Iron Beast. <laughs> I actually, I just quickly grabbed, you know, all over the internet, all of these bad album covers. And some of them I actually didn't take the time to actually admire. Oh, Lord. Artillery, Terror Squad. It hurts the eyes to, to look at some of these album covers, too. Well, I don't think this is heavy metal, man. It's homo homini. You have to wonder what kind of music that would be. I actually don't want to know what kind of music that would be. This is Whiplash, Insult, Injury. <laughs> Area Disaster. Speaking of disasters, wall, wall, wallala. I don't know. There's a there's a flying saucer up in the air, and this uh, Viking 
who doesn't have much for clothing, is pointing at. What, what makes it even more funny is, for the most part, the, these heavy metal album covers are, are supposed to be, I don't know, like scary or cool or whatever, and they end up being just totally ridiculous. <laughs> Fire axe, that's it. Victory or death. I would choose death over listening to this album. And there are, you know, thinking way back to Black Sabbath, the, the debut album of, of Black Sabbath with that creepy looking woman. Uh, there are some very good, you know, heavy metal album covers, but these aren't any of them. <laughs> uh, something overdrive swords and axes <laughs> i think this is a single actually wicked lady underneath the neon tonight and manolito I'd say more, but I don't want to. Here we go. <laughs> like I said, there's there's some band logos that you can't even read. Shadows of old I can read. <laughs> Mortal Sin. Mayhemic. Destruction. Compared to the other ones, that actually almost looks scary. <laughs> These are honest laughs, by the way. I don't have to force any laughs. Hydra Vane. <laughs> Rather death than false. Rather death than false of faith. Oh, that's pretty deep. Manila Road, Spiral Castle. Lots of blood and guts and gore. And bad artwork. Yeah, Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes, Call of the Wild. Actually better than the other album covers, but still kind of a lame album cover for Ted Nugent. Whiplash, Power and Pain. This is the one. This is the one where I have the music for it. I apologize. Not the one before that I showed earlier. So let's listen to a little snippet of Whiplash, Power and Pain. Okay, that's Venom. Somebody out there really knows Photoshop. And they must have taken at least five minutes to create this masterpiece. <laughs> Torch. Can you read that? It looks like he's summoning up 
some grass or trying to make it grow. I don't know. Oh, there's something at the bottom I can hardly read. Dethrone the son of dethrone the son of God. That's not very nice. Acid rain, the fear. <laughs> Rogue male, first visit. <sighs> I'm really curious to hear some of these albums. Kick Axe. I've heard of that band. <laughs> Vices. <laughs> what a stupid album cover. Z Z Z Snow White. Act of God. Just weird. Nuclear Assault. I like how they have it twice. Uh, something Wicked. I'm starting to get mad. Scorpions. There you go. <laughs> An actual, you know, decent band. Lie to the Rainbow. And it looks like he's got a milk carton on his head. For a helmet. Great artwork. <laughs> there's Rod Stewart and there's Rod Sacred. I think I've, I've seen this one before. Pray, 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 he, pray, forget it. Next one. Oh, this is something different. Cardi Party starring Bill Cart, the mirth, mirthful madcap madman of Florida's fabulous Gold Coast. The Curry Brothers, hot stuff. Nothing like an album with uh, two accordion players. Apollo 9. Here. Let's move on quickly. Sky Saxon, I've heard of him, and the the something new Seeds band. Yeah, he was in the Seeds. Does that say Scary Ride? <laughs> Chart busting number one gospel hits. Includes the big hit single, The Great Snatch is Coming. So maybe this is a joke album cover. Sometimes, you know, I'll accidentally put one in the, that's not real. Mr. and Mrs. Jazz, Sue and Ralph Sharon, or Sharon. Uh, Susie Christie. Now this is, looks like a 45. I Love Onions, backed with Take Me As You Find. And for 
more high quality entertainment, I have a snippet because this is ac an actual song called I Love Onions by Susan Christie. Here we go. I don't almost done here. Barry McGuire, I've heard of him. Uh, Cosmic Cowboy. Was, was he Eve, the Eve of Destruction? Was that his big song? I forget. Uh, Denny Barbario or something like that. The best performance of my life. Well, he doesn't look very happy if that was the best performance of his life. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, Drake. I forget the album title, but what a stupid album cover. And, you know, I really do try. I try. I try and respect all genres of music, at least a little bit. But I was listening to some Drake albums, including this one last night, and it is just, I'm, I'm sorry. For me, it's so bad. And it's all, all this, you know, the N-word in every song and, you know, hoes and bitches. It's just, oh, I don't get it. I'm sorry. Dean Reed. <laughs> Max Creeps. Yep. <laughs> more more photoshop magic peter rabbit rock and roll pretty impressive <laughs> pantera once again a good band projects in the jungle just a terrible album cover Oh. Vietnam chain before I go. <laughs> oh Lord, I just yeah. I won't get past that one. Sandwich. Kooky. Someone to understand. And I've saved uh, the very last album cover is one that I've shown before. I think it's it's my favorite bad album cover. We're almost there. Vet Vetter and the Instructor's Obstacle. <laughs> Nancy Harmon's Double Portion Album, Super Size Me Jesus, The Holy Ghost and a Side of Fries, Let the Spirit Fill My Belly. And I was wondering if this was a joke album. It isn't. It's on YouTube. Here's a little bit of the music from it. And I will end this with my all-time favorite worst album cover by a great band, usually a great band.
Crosby, Stills, and Nash live it up with the hot dogs in space. <laughs> uh, so bad. So bad. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, please remember to like the video, leave a comment below, and share it with all of your family and friends if you have any. Bye.